Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi InsyaAllah, I will present a paper titled Islamic Religious Belief and Halal Awareness as Antecedent of a Chief Intention Among Public Servants in Kedah. This paper is written by myself, Muhammad Nasir Ahmad, Muhammad Farid Abdul Latif, and Rizal Hasnan, all of us are from University Islam Antarabangsa, Sultan Abdul Halim Muazzam Shah in Kuala Ketil, Kedah. First, <coughs> let me share with you uh, the current scenario with regard to Muslim consumers. Muslim consumers has recently emerged as the force to be reckoned with. Why so? Because currently there are 1.9 billion Muslim globally and this number is expected to increase to 2.8 billion in 2050 as forecasted by Pew Research. In Malaysia, 60% of our 32 million population are made up of Muslim. And since halal food and product have gained widespread awareness and this is not only among Muslim, but also non-Muslim. So halal product and services has become a major force currently. And this global halal market size is expected to grow to US dollar 9.17 trillion by 2025, as reported by Shari et al. 2020. First, let's define halal. Halal is defined as permissible or lawful. And the concept of halal is an absolute key to Muslim consumption. Muslim consumers nowadays, they have a variety of selection, not only in terms of product, but also in services. So services like financial institution and instrument has gained more popularity. Okay, let me brief through the, the, some of the lit, literature review. Ambali and Baka 2014 reiterate that Al-Quran and Sunnah have provided clear guidelines to Muslims on the prohibition and permissible consumption. And then they further define what is halal awareness? Halal awareness is a special, is having special, uh, is a, I mean, defined as having special interest in or knowledge on food, beverages, and halal product. Halal and haram are applicable to whole aspect of Muslim daily life, as Islam is the way of life. SON Deep 2004 stress that religion dictate consumers' alternative choice on food, grocery products, and other products. While Pro 1994 emphasized that religiosity of consumers 
has become a vital part in marketing, especially in advertisement. While River and Eagle 2002 stress on the strong impact on consumers' behavior and attitude that religiosity has. Wilson 2012 reiterate that the study of religiosity in the Muslim context has recently gained interest from academics and business practitioners from around the world. And this study was adapted, or the study's conceptual framework was adapted from Agent 1991, Theory of Planned Behavior, TPB model, which assert that behavior is determined by the individual's intention to perform the behavior. There are there are many studies actually uh, have adopted theory of planned behavior in understanding halal purchase intention and behavior. Among others are Damit Etel 2019 and Bakar Shawahid and Exxon 2018. Fishbane and Agent Further uh, 1975 further clarify that in the context of marketing, behavioral intention are the main indicators of actual purchases. In view of those literature reviews that I've shared with you, so the objective of this study is to determine the relationship between the halal awareness and Islamic religious belief to the purchase intention among the civil servant in Kedah. And the hypothesis of the study are, hypothesis one, halal awareness is significantly influenced purchase intention. And hypothesis two, Islamic religious belief is significantly influenced purchase intention. So the methodology of this study, 150 questionnaires were distributed to school teachers in public primary and secondary school in Kedah State based on a random sampling method. Out of that 150, 137 questionnaires were returned, which is 91.33% respond rate and 122 were usable. SPSS 18 was employed to pass analysis. Halal awareness and Islamic religious belief as independent variable are regressed against purchase intention as the dependent variable. All variables were measured using seven-point interval scale. Ten items of halal awareness was adapted from Ambali and Baka 2012. Nine items of Islamic religious belief were, were adapted from al Balaki 1997 and nine items purchase intention was adapted from Chen 2007 as a exogenous variable measured by seven point interval scale of one strongly disagree to seven strongly agree. Table one show internal consistency of study instrument with the uh, alpha of more than 0 0.8, all instruments used in this study have a high level of consistency. The collected data is analyzed using past analysis. Estimate the causality relationship between variable causal model to determine the effect of awareness Islamic religious belief and purchase intention. 
And as I mentioned, data processing using SPSS 18.0. This is the concept, conceptual framework where the hypothesis one is uh, the relationship between halal awareness and purchase intention and hypothesis two the relationship between Islamic belief and purchase intention of halal product. So re research hypothesis, just to recap, just to reiterate. Hypothesis one, halal awareness among Muslim public servants to purchase intention toward halal product. And hypothesis two, Islamic religious belief among Muslim public servants to purchase intention toward halal products. This is the result. The findings support two significant direct effects in the revised model, thus supporting the hypothesis regarding the halal awareness on the intention to buy is significantly positive with beta 0 0.382 and Islamic religious belief is positive significant with beta 0 0.316. In the result of testing the hypothesis one, the hypothesis is accepted, which means that the halal awareness variable have a significant effect on the purchase intention among public servants in Kedah. The direct effect of the halal awareness variable on the purchase intention variable is equal to 0 0.382. This result show that the influence of halal awareness such can have an influence on buying intention towards halal product is getting bigger. The test result of hypothesis two are accepted, meaning that the Islamic religious belief variable effect have a significant effect on the purchase intention among public servants in Kedah and has direct effect coefficient of Islamic religious belief on purchase intention of halal product is 0.316. The result shows that the higher the level of religiosity Muslim consumers in Kedah will have influence on the halal product purchase intentions. The study has established one direct causal effect. Halal awareness and Islamic religious belief is significantly influenced purchase intention. The effect of halal awareness and Islamic religious belief on purchase intention among government servants was concurred with past study by Hassan 2016. The intention to purchase halal product among teachers in Kedah can be influenced by religious belief and halal awareness. There are limitation, there are one major limitation on this study that need to be pointed out is the questionnaire are self-reported. Therefore, individuals are likely to portray themselves as, as more than they really are. This is not a major problem for the study as the focus is on relative and not absolute score. A future study should address the issue of any discrepancies between self-reported intention to buy and observe awareness behavior among them. And then there is implication on uh, uh, implication of the study is that positive relationship between Halal awareness and Islamic religious belief to the purchase intention. Meaning to say the importance of Halal Malaysia logo towards food product, the importance of online and traditional media tools to educate and creating awareness among the Muslim consumers. 
So the authority must find a way on how to reduce the number of fake halal logo and dubious halal certifi certified companies in Malaysia to protect the halal food industry, especially in local market, as suggested by Cheikh Kifri 2009 and Yusuf Abdul Shukur and Ahmad Bustamam 2016. So that's the that's all uh, my presentation for today. Um, with that, I thank you. Wallahu alam. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi. Wabarakatuh.